Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to share with you how much money I've saved by running my home server. I'll break down the initial and ongoing costs of my Dell 730XD and compare it to an equivalently specced machine on AWS. By the end of this video, you'll see just how much money you could save by running a home server. Let's first talk about the initial cost. I bought a used Dell PowerEdge 730XD. It has 256GB of DDR4 RAM and 48 CPU cores. This set me back just under a thousand US dollars, including tax. Current market prices for this machine is around 2000 US dollars, but you can always find good deals on used machines all the time. I know it's not cheap, but it's a one-time investment that pays off in the long run. Now let's talk about the ongoing costs. The only significant expense is the electricity bill. According to the power readings on my server, usage is around an average of 230 watts per hour, which means it costs around 2.9 cents per hour or approximately $20 per month. This is all calculated from current electricity costs of 12.6 cents per kilowatt hour in Seattle, Washington. I'm not going to include the cost of my internet connection as I would still be paying whether or not I have this server. Now let's compare the home server cost to an equivalently specced machine on AWS. As you can see on the screen, I wasn't able to find an exact match. I got 48 cores of the home server by selecting 6 instances of the R5D 2x large in Seattle. This costs roughly $4.57 per hour or around $3,296 per month to run continuously. That's 174 times more expensive than running the home server. So let's crunch some numbers. The Dell server cost $1,000 upfront and cost $240 per year to run. In contrast, the AWS equivalent machine costs $3,296 per month. That's over $39,553 per year. That means I will save over $39,000 every year by running my home server. It's pretty insane that it pays itself off in about a week and a half. As you can see, running a home server can save you a lot of money in the long run. Of course, there are some downsides, such as the initial cost and maintenance. But if you have the technical knowledge and are willing to invest the time, it can be a great investment. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tech related content.